Oliver Lewis Clark was born March 1, 2020. At six weeks old, his parents learned he had major hearing loss in both ears. Thanks to an amazing medical team and a support group of caring individuals, the Clark family is looking forward to brighter days ahead. I'm Glenn Gracia with Leadvance, the makers of Sylvania General Lighting in the U.S. and Canada. As part of our Brighter Days Ahead campaign, celebrating the light at the end of the COVID tunnel, we're talking with individuals about what they're looking forward to in Brighter Days Ahead. I'm honored to be sitting with Maggie Clark of Maggie Clark Interiors, an amazing interior designer we work with, and also Oliver's mother. So Maggie, thanks so much for sharing your story with us. Hi Glenn, thanks for having me. So Oliver, incredible, beautiful, I was so honored to meet him. Yeah, he's one of three. Tell me about your other two children. Yes, we have a six-year-old, her name's Glennis. We have a four-year-old, her name's Lula, and Oliver is our third. He's 15 months old. So now 15 months old, he was born about two weeks before the pandemic really kicked in. What was that like? You know, it was scary as it was for everyone. The unknowns are terrifying, but in a way it was nice because we were hunkered down at home. So we were able to bond with our new baby. Now, when did you first discover that Oliver had significant hearing loss? We actually found out one day after having him while we were still in the hospital that he failed his newborn hearing screening. We were then told to come back two weeks later to get another test and he failed that one as well. And then we were referred to an audiologist and that's when we got the news. And what was the news? He has profound hearing loss on the left side and severe on the right. So profound, severe, what does that mean for somebody who's not as familiar with the terminology. So there are different uh, varying degrees of hearing loss. Profound is the worst at the top of the list, and then severe is the next one down. So when you get that news, how did you process that? To be honest, we were devastated, as any parents would be. It's so hard to know that your child is gonna have challenges ahead of them. Because obviously we want our children to be, have the best life ahead of them, and of course, they're Deaf people have wonderful lives, but when you're in that initial moment, you, you question, you wonder. What were some of the things that you were questioning and wondering about? I was talking to my mom soon after we got the news, and I remember crying to her saying, I just want him to be happy. I want him to get married one day and have a normal life. Um, and it's silly to think back on that now. Of course he will. Uh, but Right as you get that news, it's just part of that grieving process. To get that news during the pandemic and to then think about next steps, I would imagine it could have been, it was a very difficult journey, maybe even isolating. How did you process, how did you work through those moments? It was super isolating. You feel like you're the only one that's ever gone through what you're going through. Um, and I specifically remember being up late with the newborn and breastfeeding and feeling those were the darkest periods. And that was when I worried the most. So I would research hashtags and find other families that were going through the same thing I was. So finding families that were going through the same thing was very comforting knowing that we weren't alone and seeing all of these older children that were also deaf that are thriving and um, living their best lives. Did you reach out to these folks? Did, did, did you have conversations? How did you, what happened next? Actually I did. I messaged a mom um, whose son is just a few months older than Oliver and we've actually become friends. So I've made a lot of friends and I've learned so much along the way. So after the grieving process, how, what were, you know, as any parent, what are next steps? How do you, you know, how do we tackle this? What was next for you all? So we dove right in. Uh, we immediately enrolled him at one of the best oral schools for the deaf in Memphis. Um, we also enrolled him in speech therapy, physical therapy. We really just dove into all the things. So speech therapy, what were some of the other decisions that you made in order to help support Oliver? We were told that he was a great candidate for a cochlear implant. So my husband and I collectively decided that we would go through with that surgery. And at nine months old, he received a cochlear implant on the right side. So Maggie, was there ever a time when you and your husband thought not to go with the surgery? 
We actually did a lot of research on the surgery and we decided that it would be best to give Oliver the chance to learn oral language. There are some families that decide against it and that's fine, that's their journey and I respect any family's decision about their own child. What was it like when the implant was activated? One word, mind-blowing. It gives you so much um, awe and gratitude for the people that dedicate their lives and their careers to helping children with hearing loss. The ENTs, the audiologists, the speech therapists, uh, it's just remarkable. And technology and science just blow my mind on a daily basis. Here we go, and it's on! Oliver! Hi! Hey, bye. Holy. Hey, Oliver. Hello, man. Hey. So how's Oliver interacting now with the new world that he's experiencing? What's it like? So he's officially been hearing for about three months. Yes. And he is already saying three words, if you can consider meowing a word. Of course. <laughs> of course it is. So, yes, he says hi, uh-oh, and he meows. So things are looking up. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Can you wave both hands? Do it again. <laughs> there may be people watching this video that are hearing similar news for the first time. What would you like them to take away from this? I think life is about perspective and just know that you aren't alone. There is a whole community that is going through the same thing. And this is just the start of a wonderful journey. And whatever their decision is, is their decision. Their decision, their journey, the best for their family. And for your family, things look like they're getting pretty bright. They are. Oliver is learning at lightning speed, and I'm just so looking forward to these brighter days ahead. Well, Maggie, thank you so much for sharing you and your family's story with us. And uh, I can't tell you how awesome it is to know you and your family. And once again, thank you. Thank you, Glenn. Thanks for having me. On behalf of everyone at Ledvance, the makers of Sylvania General Lighting, thanks for watching. Here's to brighter days ahead for us all.